let's see. So it says here that you were booked for a marketing fee. Am I am I saying this right? Does does this sound okay to you that you do these type of things to our country? I mean, can't you think of another approach? Can't you think of somewhere where you can go and get this dealt with? Something wrong with how things are ran here in America to you at all? Is it? I mean, I never said it was, you know, I just, I sometimes go through depression, Doc. I don't know what to do. There are certain times where I just want to, you know, end it all and, and, and give in to the demons within my head. It's just all so hard, Doc. I mean, look at you, you're a professional. You, you have a great opportunity here, a great career. And look at me, I'm a nobody loser. I can't do nothing right, Doc. I can't. I mean, I try and I try and I try medication and therapy and it just it doesn't get me anywhere, Doc. I mean, what do you think I should do? Well... Do you want to hear the real truth of why you can't do certain things? See, to me, it seems like you're mentally blocked. You don't know where to go. So every morning you wake up, you're afraid. You're afraid of what people think of you. You're afraid of who you are on the inside. I mean, I could just be pulling thumbtacks out of a wall here when I say this, but do you really honestly believe that your depression is based on your mood? Or is is it it the people, excuse me, is it the people that you surround yourself around? Because quite frankly, I know a little something about that. And that, my friend, is depression. You suffer depression. Do you feel like you do? Or not? Honestly, Doc, I, I don't even know. Like, to me lately, it's like what I do think and what I do know never match up. It's just, it never seems to match up. I mean, I'm a good guy. I have a good heart. It's just certain days I want to be happy around the people that I love. And it's just, I'm mentally blocked and I can't focus right. And I'm just so depressed and angry and mad at the world. I mean, it's, it's, it's gotta be me. I mean, who else can it be? Like, I'm the only one that suffers this. Sometimes I just feel like I'm out of my mind. Like, like, I don't know what to do. It's just, it's all crazy, Doc. Maybe you're right though. Maybe I do have depression. But what what do I do? I'm very scared. I'm very nervous. What do I do? (laughs) Oh gosh. Okay. So what you're telling me here is that you're afraid. I can't. I cannot. You're telling me that you're afraid of somebody else judging you because you're depressed over something that's going on in your life, something that you cannot control, and something that esquires when you take the wrong medication. I just, I don't understand. Why don't you enlighten me? on why you're so afraid of what people I never stop, no, I don't quit And when I swing, I don't miss You ain't never seen nothing like this, yeah Yeah 
It's funny, Doc, and I understand that. Maybe I need to laugh some more in life as well. But I have dreams too. And I'm so busy out here making other people's dreams come true. What about mine, Doc? What about mine? I try so hard every day to stay faithful and loyal and positive to everybody, but where does it get me? Stuck inside of a stuffy office room Talking to a therapist. Is this what really life is this what life has really become? That I have to pour my heart out for $49.95 a month? But I could be out there having fun, Doc. You just don't get it. I don't think you ever will. I want to say something. And let me take my glasses off when I say this. I have been through a lot in my life. So much that you cannot even fathom. Yeah, I've grown up on roaches and rats and food stamps and Section A. But I'm still here, Doc. I know what I want in life. And this is not it. Bigger dreams in life, Doc. Nobody knows that. And even when I tell people, nobody listens. No one. It's like I'm stuck in a room by myself. It's like, where is the love? Where is the respect, the mutual respect that I give to other people and they never get it back to me? Like, So no, Doc. I don't. I mean, I take five steps forward, and when I do, I just take three steps back. And I'm back in the same position I was in. Say, what do I do, Doc? What is it that I have to do to prove that I am loyal and faithful to everybody? To get rid of this depression, this demon snake inside my head, stealing all my lovely memories away, plastering it on the concrete ground. I just need help. I really do. And if you can't help me, doing here, Doc? You tell me, since you think everything is funny. What am I doing here, Doc? I mean, I have nothing left. <laughs> nothing. job and I'm just a moron. You're not a moron, son. We all go through certain things in our lives where we want to, you know, push forward and do better. But sometimes we make the wrong decisions. That's who you are. You're a guy who made the wrong decisions. That's all. And if you remember one thing that I say from this course, that thing is, whenever life knocks you down, you're in a perfect position to pray. Remember that.
because one day it will come in handy. Don't beat yourself up over people tearing you down or whatnot. People are going to do that. That's human nature. It's up to you to choose the right path in life. Because once the devil gets a hold of you, Oh, once the devil gets a hold of you, he will never let go. He stole the show. And you let him. So what does that make you? It makes you a new fool. Why not make him a fool? Make him pay for putting you through this. You're a great guy. You are a great guy. You have a great smile. And wherever you get in this world, you're going to hold that with you. Always think to yourself, I am the best version of myself that I can be throughout the day and that's all that matters. I'm not here to judge you, son. That's not my place, too. My place is to let you know that you are headed down a road that is going to take you nowhere. This is the time to change. This is the time to motivate yourself. This is the time to keep pushing. This is the time to stay grinding. Because without those training wheels on your bike, you will fall if you do not know how to ride it. Life's motto is you gotta crawl before you walk. We don't become positive over time. Or excuse me, overnight. <sighs> but I think you know that, right? So, just know, whenever you're depressed or you're having a bad time, there's always outreach to every problem. For nothing is as bad as it seems. Look up. Hold your crown. You remain the king. Now, there's one thing I hate about a female. Not to start the story off like that, but if there's one thing I hate about a female, is the only reason that you give them a compliment and they all of a sudden think that they can get something from you, basically. But then it's not even the case at all. If I walk up to you and I tell you, hey, I think you're beautiful. I think you have an amazing smile. There's no reason that you should be throwing flames at me. Letting me know that you have a boyfriend. Bitch, I didn't ask you out. Who told you I did? I didn't ask you out. You asked yourself out. Don't consider me as crazy because I'm not. Chris Rock. I still got bars. Ain't nobody trying to get up on you and stuff. Ain't nobody trying to push their way through you and stuff, you know? You're trying to get it where to get in this guy. Hey. Either I'm on my mind or what, but if I wanted you, I always say certain words. I'm giving you a compliment. Isn't that enough? It's usually the drunk ones too, or the ones that they that think that they all had and stuff and all that. And truth is, you ain't got a breast to your name. Cause I play the wedding game, and you play the same game. 
My voice sucks on this brush. It's not mine. And the homies roll up and they give you a compliment. And what is it? Uh, excuse me, I'm married. What you think you doing? Bitch, I'm giving you a compliment. I'll take it back. I'll take, I'll take it back and give it to the side girl that I got. I'll give it to the side girl that I got. In no way, shape, or form am I biased against any females whatsoever. Feminized. I love females. Of course, sometimes I act like y'all shit don't stain just like everybody else's. I mean, walk around the bathroom for good for goodness sakes, you know? Spray some Febreze. I smell it through the fucking vent. The vent. I smell it through that. The vent. Property is noted if you have tramp stamps stamped across your back or the back of your freaking palm fist. Don't ever try to think that I'm hitting on you just because I gave you a compliment. Because like I said, it can easily go to the next person. I can easily get that. I can easily get close to the camera. I can easily offend you. I can easily get that right then and there. But I'm going to back up a little bit because that's not who I am. But thirsty, dusty ass nigga. Like, what the fuck is he giving me compliments about hitting it in my phone range? Shit. Got your hoes dancing on their tippy toes like such and such and such. Marching to the parade of the drum thinking that they are all that. Please. Please. Please have faith in me like I have faith in you. If I if I didn't wanna if I wanted you, I can have you. Straight up. I'm looking right at you. I can have you. So don't give me none of that bullshit about stop hitting on me and whatnot. I, I just I love doing it. I admit it. But I'm not a player. I'm not a player. At all. But, but anyways. I just hate girls like that. And like I said, I don't judge or anything. Do me a favor, if you like this, hit that button down below for more content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below, that like button down below for more content like this. Contest, contest, contest like this, and you will get it. Hit that bell for notifications for me, and you will get it. Till then, I'll see you next time. Skid over. Now, any shape or form, I am not judgmental. Trust me, I am not judgmental. But when it comes to girls, I tend to get a little bit of trust issues towards them. I don't know, it was just like a past thing that happened in my life. I dated this one girl and she was like a complete train wreck. Didn't even know her name, honestly. But, you know, she did some jacked up shit. I'm in high school then, so I'm not knowing what's going on. All I'm looking for is the honeys, you know, I'm trying to throw on some booties, you feel me? So I'm just in high school like, <laughs> I heard you got them digits, girl. I also heard you ain't got no panties on. What's up? I got some key sweat in the car. And she just started bugging out, you know? She just started tripping and stuff, throwing shit, just going berserk, you know? So she fired back at me like, Nigga, I know you're not talking. I heard you got, hey, what the fuck is up with that? What is up with that? I don't know that. Damn! That shit's not getting for me. So then I'm thinking like, what the hell is going on here? Did somebody spread rumors about me? Am I going am I going viral or some shit on some type of website or what? Like I didn't even know what was going on. So me and my group, we walk back, you know, around the campus one time, one good time, you know. And I see the girl with her arm around some other dude. Like, damn girl, I seen hair under your armpits. What's going on? Girl, god damn, you need deodorant. She got a nigga passed out like <gasps> Damn girl, you need some goddamn deodorant. Shit, you did knock me off my high horse. God damn. But then she always also tried to deny it. As if like sometimes we would go to class, right? And I'd be sitting right behind her. And I was I would smell mushrooms along with peas and onions. And I'm like, damn, are we in the cafeteria or what? And there'll be certain times when she'll turn around and you know and she'll say some crazy ass shit like So uh I heard you was trying to hook up. I mean, what you got for me, sexy daddy? I look back at her like, bitch, I ain't got shit for you. Maybe some deodorant, some toothpaste, some damn clippers so you can cut that goddamn fucking 70s afro out your fucking armpit. And she just started going on for hours upon hours upon hours talking about some type of crazy shit, you know? And I'm like, damn, do you not even smell yourself? Like, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, you know, but... The shit was just crazy. The shit was disgusting. It almost made me throw up. I literally thought I was sitting inside pea soup. It smelled like pea soup the entire goddamn week. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm getting nauseated just thinking about it.
Hold up. Then a nigga just feel like, you know, fuck, I want to faint, but it's a hard ass ground. Somebody lay a pillow down. <sighs> there we go. Now I can fucking faint in peace. So I'm like, damn. This girl's crazy. This girl, like, literally, she just smelled so bad. No offense to her. But anyway, that was my story about, you know, when I was in high school and apparently I met a girl that really did not smell right. But she was fine as hell. I was trying to, trying to grab the booty, you feel me? But hey, if you hit like that this, like that, ugh, hit that like button down below and that subscribe button down below for more content like this because I love doing these. I really do. It brings pride and joy out of me to you. Hey, uh, till then, I'll see you next time. Basically, I'll see you next time. I don't know when, but I'll see you next time. Peace out. Dope, dope, dope. Welcome to Nextel. Uh, we heard from your previous boss that you have a lot of experience in customer service. I mean, and I, I see you're trying to bring it here. So let me ask you a couple of questions and we'll get started on this whole interview, okay? I follow. So, it says here, Mr. Uh, Williams, is it? Mr. Williams? Okay, it says here that uh, you somewhat have a brilliant history in great customer service skills, working with people, cleaning up right, stocking stuff right. Honestly, I like what I'm seeing here. I really do. But um, if you want to, you can tell me how um, the whole purpose you want this job and whatnot. I mean, what made you want to come to Nextel? Well, the reason why I wanted this uh, job is because, um, well, I want to be able to help other people, and uh, I feel like it can help me grow in like a better, you know, area where I can actually, um, you know, succeed in, if you will. Um, There are certain issues, though. Uh, I somewhat require a break, like every now and then. Like, there'll be certain times where I'll just need to go out and smoke or something, you know. I got the I got the name, by the way. I got the name Williams from my great grandfather. You know, this I'm not related to Vanessa Williams or anything. You know, uh, just in case you were thinking that, but um. You know, I really do think I deserve this job. I feel like I'll do a dope job at it, you know. I feel like I'll uh, be able to, you know, be myself at this job. And I think that's all I've ever wanted from a job. So hopefully you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? First things first. It's never a good job to say, you know what I'm saying, to an interviewer. To an interviewer, okay? If I wanted to live in Compton, I'd go back and live in Compton. But I don't live in Compton. We live in California, which Compton is in, yes, I understand, but check your mannerisms first, okay? Check your mannerisms. So, apparently, uh, you want the job for the right reasons, and I get that. You know, it's no joke. It's no joke. Let me explain to you some of the past employees that we've had with um, this company, if you will. Um, some of the employees thought it was a good idea to lie to me in their interview thinking that they would get the type of branding that they deserve which we all know we don't i mean tell me something if you honestly lied to me right now where do you think it would get you like honestly in your mind you'd be thinking i really just lied to this guy i'm living a lie the entire time I'm working at this job you don't want that on your back right so then i just tell you right now that tells you right there right now get it together this is a real interview. You need to be in the game. You need to put your head in the game, okay? Pretend it's a basketball game and you're playing against Kobe. What happens then? You sit there and you wonder, oh, 
what I do next. No. You put your head in the game and you focus. That's what it's about. It's never about something different, okay? I believe you have the spirit to work with next self. I don't understand, I don't understand why you have to why, why you think you have to talk a certain way, I mean, but to get in this company, you really need to be educated. And if you're gonna talk like that, if you're gonna be like that, then the door is right over there near the nearest exit. I cannot point it out any more better than I, I just mean, said. I mean, you looking at me like I'm crazy, though. Like, I just want the job, okay? I want the job, Doc! Sorry. Wrong character. I want the job, okay? I don't care about talking proper and this and that. I want the job, okay? Like, it shouldn't matter how I talk. I'm being myself. Isn't that what the entire position is about? I talk my lingo, bingo, and stuff and take it back to Compton. Hey. I'm me. At the end of the day, I'm me. You cannot take that away from me. I'm sorry. I'm creative. I'm positive. That's what it's about. I heard about your job through a friend, and I demand on making that friend a right person that made me get this job. Doc? Dar! You sound like my doctor! You cannot be this... Crazy about me saying, no, what I'm saying, I say, no, what I'm saying, I'll say it again. No, what I'm saying, like, doc, I mean, come on, dog, come on, dog. It's got to be somewhere in your head where you got to think, damn, you just, you just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, doc. Look, I'm going to stay ghetto the way I am, you feel me? This ain't even my best shirt. This ain't my best shirt at all. I got this, I got this shit at the 99 cents, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess you have the 99 cents though, dog. You can't tell me shit until you smell the shit. Okay? So, uh, I mean, that's basically all I'm about, you know? It's either you take me or you don't. So, what is it gonna be? Because I don't really, got time nigga? to be sitting here playing with you all goddamn day long while you wanna be tripping on your balls and E's and shit. I don't got time for it. So, uh, that's basically me. And, uh, I mean,. Did I did, did I get did I get the job? Let me ask you a question. Don't you hate when people smack every time they sit at the dinner table and eat something? Sounded like a bunch of horses at the trough. Sounded like a goddamn Lawnmower smacking on grass, just smacking, 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 smacking. What do you get out of that? I'll tell you what you get. You get cavities, you get bad hygiene, you get bad manners. You put this upon yourself. I'm sorry. I just gotta say it. I'm sorry. I just wanna. I wanna know what. We're trying to figure out what time the movie start though, so. So we can get down and we'll still get some shoes up. Then it's like, damn! What the fuck? Close your mouth! I see your tonsils, I see your teeth, I see your tongue, I shouldn't see all this. I'm not a gynecologist, you know. I think I said the wrong thing. Mm-mm-mm. God damn. Why not try and sit proper and eat like a gentleman, of course, of my magnitude? For I went to Harvard, and that's all you need to know about me. I ain't know how to eat with manners. And you, my friend, you don't! Are we talking about the same people that you see at buffets, sitting there, eating, Everything. I don't know what the purpose of a buffet, you know, but come on now. Come on, for real. I pay $10.99. I want to get in the buffet too. I want to eat some food as well. Five pieces of fish on your plate. Three or five pieces of shrimp on your plate. Two freaking pieces of lobster on your plate. Five pieces of crab on your plate. God damn, you got the whole little mermaid on your goddamn palate. Shit. Share some with us. We need the food. Help save hunger. <gasps> one, one piece of moral food can help the entire world. Die. Don't quote me on that though. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. I'm insane or I've been wearing this backwards the entire time. Remember, I used to wear this forward. The fuck? You always smack. You can't smack no more. This ain't SmackDown. And you is not The Rock. I am. Rock eyebrow. Rock eyebrow. Thing, another thing that I hate is when somebody swallows and you can actually hear it. Like, damn, girl, you got a goddamn dinosaur neck. I hear the echoes going through like a goddamn church hall. Please, swallow with your mouth closed. Or be rude and obnoxious like a hyena in the wild. Be my guest.
It's not my mouth. All right, you guys. <laughs> If you like that skit, then do me a favor, hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button down below for more content like that. Also, hit that bell for more <laughs> notifications like that, it'll come to you. Also, uh, check out some of my skits, my world of Devin, my world of foods, my my poetry, walks, all that in the playlists in the channel. Um, make sure also, if you like these videos, that you show me a lot of gratitude and hit that like button and that subscribe button and also share it on any type of social media sites that you have. Um, I hope you enjoyed this skit. Um, I only got two words to say. Skit! Shit, my nigga. I mean, what you, what you eat, what you, eat, what you eating right there? That shit look good, man. Hey, 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 hey. I know you ain't got a bread though, dog. I know you ain't got a bread. Shit, hey. What the fuck you eating, though, my, my nigga? That shit look good though. Like straight up. Can I get some? Why the literal fuck? When I give you some of my bologna, that. I ain't even got no bread for it. First of all. Second of all, that shit slap, man. This shit ain't got no hot sauce on it. This shit slap, dog. Oh, shit. You should have came and got something when you had the test to. Oh, shit, my nigga. I meant to tell you, right? Okay, so the other day, right? I was up over Stephanie's house, right? And uh, she was throwing this little block party, you know? Her brother going away to summer camp, you know? And I was like, you know, let me get, let me, let me try to get up in them, you know what I mean? So I, I told her, I was like, hey, um, let's go upstairs, you feel me? Like, we can leave the rest of the party downstairs. Is your brother watch the party and shit, you feel me? So I told her specifically, I said, hey, babe, we got to do this, you know? Like, I've been waiting too damn long. I got my hair cut. I got my new Georgias. I'm ready to get up in that, you know? Um, I did start smelling something like... And as soon as she, as soon as she uh, zipped her pants, it started smelling fish, onions. It was just, it was horrible, man. Like, for real. Like, all this shit, man. man she had shit coming out of her fucking leg, her fucking vagina, and all that, man. That shit was nasty beyond the dog. I'm telling you right now. Hey, my nigga, that shit smelled just like bologna, my nigga. Like, no joke, man. Like, this bitch had goddamn. She, I think she was on her goddamn period, bruh. I think she had two periods back to back, and she never even recognized it. The bitch never recognized it. She sat there and she let herself bleed on herself the entire damn time, bro. Let me tell you something, man. That shit smelled up dead up like a goddamn red lobster. I'm not even playing. That shit smelled like a Long John Silver, my nigga. I ain't even sweating it though, G. Like for real. Hey, this bitch, yeah, she she just smelled so bad. Hey, but I said, hey, man, I don't want to let it go to waste. You feel me? I was like, hey, you know, let me uh, let me get up in now while I put this clench on my nose while I'm up in it, you know? And uh, it just started squoozing, oozing out blood and just squirting blood and shit. And the shit was just everywhere, man. It shit looked like hot sauce straight up though, man. But uh, hey, man, it's, uh, it was good seeing you though, man. I'm glad we got the time to catch up a little bit, you feel me? Uh, enjoy that, uh, enjoy that baloney. All right, yeah. Motherfucker. God damn. Yo, what's up, everybody? No vlog today, but this is a PSA. So if you were looking for a vlog, I'm very sorry and apologetic. Uh, just check out yesterday's vlog. Uh, this is a store, not a story, I'm sorry. This is a PSA on challenges. So let's go. If you want advice, you came to the right world. Haha, <laughs> I'm just saying. One thing you should know when you get up in the morning, always challenge yourself. Name the one thing in your life that makes you upset, mad, angry, uncomfortable. Challenge it. Tell yourself in the morning every day before you leave. 
I am who I am. I am a handsome, beautiful, extravagant looking human being. And I deserve the best. Now I'm not saying that others are going to agree necessarily, but it doesn't mean that it has to change the whole outcome on the whole situation. One thing you should know is that everybody's gonna always try to bring you down, especially if they see that you're at the highest rank right now. Think about yourself for once on one thing. Like it's it's just so amazing how certain things come upon us. Certain things come upon us and it's like we have to unnecessarily we have to overcome that we have to beat that it's a challenge if you will nobody's gonna fill you food on a silver platter they're not gonna feed you food on a silver platter you gotta, you gotta work hard to get yours now being positive does not it does not happen over time you know we all know that I know that you know that it does not happen over time so one thing you should do and one thing that you should know is that you are the best version of yourself that you can be during the day. Nobody can take that away from you. There was one point in time where I was like, you know, hey, my life sucks. I have nowhere to go. I don't know where it's going. I let people control my feelings and thought mindset and process and whatnot. But then I realized I'm a beautiful person on the inside and out. And I think that's all that matters. If you think that and you do that every single day, you will get far in life. I guarantee it. It's about helping yourself, being yourself, doing yourself a favor. It's about teaching yourself responsibility and lessons upon that you are better than every single person that you see. It's not about acting it out. It's about making it known, making it yours, making it your all. You challenge yourself every day. I guarantee, I guarantee you will love the outcome of it. I am speaking the truth from mind to heart. And you do got to know. One thing you do got to know. You are you. People see a vibrant person, an entertaining person, if you will, somebody with a great personality that glow around them when they walk everywhere they go. They're very approachable. Are you approachable? Are you approachable? Can you look in the mirror and actually say you are approachable? Hell yeah. All comes within the power of being yourself. So always do yourself a favor. Be right. Do right. And challenge yourself every morning and trust me you will love it you know you can't just be one of those people that wake up in the morning like uh what the fuck is you looking at damn what the fuck what the fuck you know what i ain't gonna do that i'm gonna make your life miserable i'm gonna make your life, make your life miserable yes indeed i don't gonna do that you feel me i ain't gonna do that nobody wants that nobody so do yourself a favor brush out all the negativity bring in the positivity it's there. It's sitting with you right now. Nobody else wants to see that. They don't want to know that. I got you. I got that. Because I know that. I live this every day. This is my life. Whether you're going to take it or leave it. You can't take it or leave it. I cannot force you to be positive. But think about it. Don't you want good things to happen to you? Because if you give out, whatever you give out, you get back. Basically. Get my memo. Whatever you give out, you get back. Basically. But how am I supposed to do it if they, if they over here talking mess on me and stuff, talking about my mama saying that she got three braids in the back of her head? Try me, bitch. Damn, I mean, what am I supposed to do? It's not about doing something. It's about being yourself. Reinventing yourself. Making something of your own. Putting your name out there in a good way. Nobody wants to be around a negative person. Trust me. Nobody wants to be around a person that's going to make them feel uncomfortable. Trust me. You got this on lock. You got it. Put your head in the game. You got this. Every morning you wake up, here's your challenge. Every morning you wake up, you tell yourself, hey, I am a great person. I'm beautiful on the inside and out. I deserve positivity and happiness. And it will come to you. It will come to you, my friends. I guarantee it. And that's basically all I gotta say, you know. I'm, I'm. I, this was just like a quick, quick video, you know. Uh, oh, I'll probably do more of these and more of these um, as time goes by. But uh, if you like this, please do me a favor, hit that like button down below, the subscribe button down below for more content like this. I do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, from World of Devin and YouTube. I do say this. Peace out. Well, World of Devin fans, it has come to that time. The vlog is over. Do me a favor, check out some of these videos. They are my favorites. And if you like any of these videos, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below, that like button down below for more content like this. And uh, we'll see you guys. <laughs>